Okay, today we're looking at what I call what's love got to do with it. I start with this song. It's love, it's love, it's love that makes the world go round. It's love, it's love, it's love that makes the world go round. It's love, it's love, it's love that makes the world go round. It's love that makes the world go round. Of course, this particular podcast is a tribute to the Natana that just passed on. Uh, and it's interesting that she is not the only one. There's a lot of pattern of people that started singing in church and eventually made it to the world stage. And the Natana is just one of those kinds of stars. Uh, but let's go to scripture because there's something very similar to, you know, the title of a hit song, What Stuff Got To Do With It. This is a woman caught in adultery. Uh, and these guys were to stone her to death. Of course, don't forget... Uh, someone that is involved in adultery won't be just one person. And the Lord said, give them a very hard answer, and they all left. So she was he, the Lord was now left with the woman. And John 8, verse 11, we take the story from there. She said, so the Lord asked her, where, where, are those, where are those that have condemned you? She said, no one, Lord. And Jesus said to her, neither do I condemn you. Go and sin no more. I mean, this is one scripture that talks a lot about the love of God. I mean, not that one is trying to encourage sin, in fact, if you look at John chapter 3, verse 17, for God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. So it's not about, you know, that uh, she had not seen. Of course, this was sin, but of course there was hypocrisy in terms of her accusers because who or she committed adultery? Why was that person was not brought to judgment? You see, but it just shows you how much uh, God loves us, which answers the Nathanael's question, what's love got to do with it, everything? And that love is actually manifested in Christ. So that no matter the depth to which you suck as a sinner, you know, you do not stand condemned. When you come to Christ, he has already paid that price. You can, you know, be completely uh, exonerated from your sin and start afresh. This is what, you know, love has got to do with it.